There is a growing interest in the use of composites for use in primary structures of ships, as well as other structures in a marine environment. Steel and composite can be connected to each other by means of an adhesive, creating a bimaterial steel composite connection. The use of composites offers advantages over traditional steel structures. For example, a ship's superstructure made of composite will lead to reduction of the ship's weight 10%, reduction in fuel consumption 1-7% to and therefore harmful emissions, increase in ship stability and less maintenance. Adhesive bonding also offer various advantages with regard to bolted and welded connections low cost, fast production, lower tolerance requirements, increased building safety, no deformations, unlike with welding, can connect dissimilar materials, substantial operational cost savings. The challenge. Despite the many advantages of composite materials and adhesive bonding, the lack of guidelines for application and design has prevented acceptance by the maritime industry, so that its use is limited to secondary structures. This is partly because the long-term behavior and the failure of adhesively bonded connections are not yet well understood, especially for the combination of bimaterial joints. The project. The purpose of the Qualify project is to close this knowledge gap, enabling the development of guidelines with the aim of promoting the use of hybrid constructions in a marine environment. Qualify is an innovation project partly funded by the EU Interreg 2 cs research program. The consortium brings together 11 EU partners, shipyards, classification societies, universities, technology suppliers and a developer of offshore wind turbines. 20 other organizations participate as observers and provide expert advice. Main activities, outputs. The project is organized around three main activities. One, long-term performance of steel to composite bonded structures. The long-term mechanical performance of the bimaterial adhesively bonded joint is evaluated under representative operational and environmental conditions. Tests and simulations are performed at different scales, following a pyramid approach. 2. Inspection and monitoring. Early prediction of damage is done through various non-destructive techniques, for example, acoustic emission, fiber optics. Their reliability to detect damage caused by environmental conditions is assessed. 3. Guidelines Thanks to the classification societies in the project, guidelines for the design, manufacturing, use, inspection and monitoring of bimaterial adhesively bonded joints are developed. Conclusions The Qualify project will promote the widespread use of adhesively bonded joints in the maritime and offshore industry, by de-risking and bringing it closer to market.